Well, hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Cocktails with Kira. My name is Kira, and I'm a whiskey loving Irish gal who's on a cocktail voyage of discovery. If you are new here, I have zero professional bar experience other than a passion for making mixed drinks at home and showing you how I do it. So hit that subscribe button, stick around, and we both just might learn something because if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Some of my favorite cocktails to make here on this channel are ones that I have never tried before. And today's cocktail is one of those. I have never made it before, but I've actually never tried it either. So today I'm going to be making a Singapore sling. So yes, a Singapore sling is a cocktail that I've never actually tried before. It was requested by one of the lovely members of my Patreon community, James Spreacher, who asked that I try this. Now, as I said, I do love making cocktails here on this channel that I've never actually made before. And before prepping for this video, I actually didn't really know anything about a Singapore sling. All I could probably tell you is that it had to be in some way related to the gin sling, of which it is a variation of. So before we get into the history of a Singapore sling and I show you how I make it at home, I would like to take a second to tell you about my Patreon. Not only is it a great way of supporting my channel, but you can also have access to exclusive content. You can join in on my monthly live stream with my Patreon community. We are having so much fun and you can also see the content that is just too tipsy for YouTube. All right, so let's get into the history of a Singapore sling. <laughs> So according to my research, the Singapore Sling was invented in the popular Raffles Hotel in Singapore in the early 20th century. Like with a lot of classic cocktails, the exact origins of the Singapore Sling are contested. Some say that it was invented far earlier. However, the modern version that we are looking at today goes with this story, so we will stick with that. Apparently, the Singapore Sling was a cocktail that was marketed towards females, obviously given its beautiful pink color, and it was extremely popular with the glamorous ladies of the time. Okay, so let's get into the ingredients for a Singapore sling. So the base for our Singapore sling is going to be gin. So I'm going to be using some Bombay Sapphire. What gives it that beautiful pink blushing color is an ingredient that I've been dying to try in a cocktail and it is some cherry brandy. I would also absolutely love to use some of the Maraschino cherry liqueur, but it is proving quite difficult to get my hands on in this current restricted situation here in Ireland. So I'm sticking with cherry brandy because I've been told that this also works very, very well. So along with our stunning cherry brandy, we are also going to use a little bit of Benedictine. I actually don't think I've used Benedictine in a cocktail since I made my Vucare, which I absolutely loved. So if you can think of any other cocktails that use Benedictine, let me know because I have lots of it. So along with our gin, our cherry brandy and our Benedictine, we are also going to be using some simple syrup. We are going to use some lemon juice and we are also going to use a little bit of Angostura orange bitters. And then finally, my absolute favorite garnish for any cocktail, I'm going to be using some of my Luxardo Maraschino cherries. I just love these. You might be worried about how low down my jar is, but I actually have a fresh one in the fridge. So I'm gonna finish this possibly today and then I'll open a fresh one. All right, so now that we've got all of our ingredients together, let's go ahead and make a Singapore sling. So I believe we are serving this in a highball glass. So I'm just gonna pop some ice in here. I'm also gonna add a large cube of ice to our shaker. So let's get started with adding our ingredients. We're gonna do roughly 21 mils of lemon juice. So let's see how much we have in this. Good squeeze of half a lemon. Oh, that's plenty. 20 mils of fresh lemon juice going in first. So now we're gonna do seven mils of sugar syrup. I'm obviously transferring this over from American measurements. So I'm just gonna do like a decent bar spoon and hope for the best. <laughs> Possibly more than seven mils, but it's fine. I feel like with the cherry brandy, this is gonna be a sweet cocktail anyway, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. So now we're adding in our stunning and herby Benedictine. Oh my goodness, it smells like nothing else that I have in my bar. About seven mils. Again, I'm gonna do like a hefty-ish bar spoon. Okay, now we're gonna go in with 15 mils of our cherry brandy. I'm so excited to try this. Whew. Oh my God, it's so sweet. Mmm, it smells a lot like my Luxardo cherries, but it smells like more sickly sweet, whereas these guys have like a deep sweetness that I love, whereas this is more like cloying or something. I don't know. So we're gonna do just 15 mils of cherry brandy. So I'm hoping that's gonna give it that gorgeous color. I really wanna try the cherry brandy on its own. Oh my 
God, it's so sweet. It reminds me of like cough syrup. I feel like I give more of a reaction to like super sweet alcohol or liqueurs than I do like really strong stuff. I honestly don't understand it. Okay, so now it's time to add in our gin. I'm gonna put in 45 mils of our beautiful Bombay Sapphire. That was a little bit of a generous 45, but that's okay. And then we are just doing a dash of orange bitters. So let's do a little dash. Now we are going to give this a little shake and then we're almost done. I think that is done. Ooh, smells very interesting. So now we're gonna go ahead and strain this into our glass with ice. Oh, I see what they mean about the pink color. It looks beautiful. Now we're gonna top with our soda water. I love that sound. And the drink is almost done. There's a nice bit of space there to top it up. Give it a gorgeous fizz. So I believe a Singapore sling uses a lemon wheel garnish. So I'm gonna cut a nice chunk of lemon. However, I'm gonna have to incorporate cherries into this. So I'm gonna have to try and figure out something because my garnishing skills leave a lot to be desired. I have a lot to learn in terms of garnishes. I just love these cherries more than life itself. I'm just gonna eat one. Oh my God, they're so good. So how will I do this? Okay, so I think I have an idea for my garnish. I'm gonna get one cherry, then I'm gonna skewer my lemon, then I'm gonna skewer another cherry, then I'm gonna rest it on top. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. I'm just gonna have another cherry. Oh my God. Okay, so that is it. My Singapore sling is finished. I have to say it looks absolutely beautiful. Like I said, I have never tried one before, although I've heard that it is tart, refreshing and slightly herby, so I'm very interested to try it for myself. So if you will join me over on my Dr. Evil chair, let's give a Singapore sling a try and see if I like it. Okay, so I'm back in my Dr. Evil chair. I have my Singapore sling right here. It is beautifully chilled looking. It looks so refreshing. I'm dying to try this, so cheers. Mmm. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, it is so refreshing. It's like a really beautiful amped up version of a gin and tonic, kind of almost floral. The color is beautiful. This would be so perfect on like a scorching hot day or on holidays. It's really, really nice. There's a gorgeous crispness to it that I really like. And I feel like that's the soda, the little bit of bubbles. It's one of those cocktails that you just cannot taste the alcohol at all. I feel like you could knock this back like lemonade. It is so delicious. So if you're someone who's a fan of a Singapore sling or possibly you have your own way of making it, please do let me know in the comments. I love hearing your own variations on the cocktails. It's just so interesting interesting and of course if you have any other drinks that you would like to see me make please do let me know in the comments below so it is at this point in the video that i get to sit back enjoy my cocktail and answer some questions from my patreon community so i have a question here from matthew or boras i hope i'm pronouncing that right and matthew asks if you could teach your dog three dances what would they be well matthew that is a stunning question let me just take a sip while i think about that so if you did not know i am the very proud owner of a rescue with it named Remy. She is absolutely gas. If you want to see more of her, you can see her on my Instagram. I mean, Matthew, considering the fact that I can't even get her to sit for me, the only trick she knows is her recall. So although learning a few dances would no doubt be good crack, the only trick that I want her to do is to come back when I call her and she does that well enough, so I'm happy. Once again, thank you to the lovely James Spreacher who requested that I make a Singapore sling. If you liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more easy cocktails that you could make at home, I will link a playlist up here. And if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.